Shalom. Giving our praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Bakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the great millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. This is Second Nature 16 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. Great mornings is talking about a lot of people gonna be mourning and crying over the over the slaying of the Lord. Yeah. The beginning of famine. <clears throat> a lot of there can be no no food on the shelves. A lot of stores are gonna shut down. You won't be able to go to Walmart, you won't be able to go to Family Dollar, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, your local convenience store, because of the great famine. And, and these last days of the last days are the beginning of the famine and great death. <clears throat> the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. Esau, Edom, and, and the wicked is going to stand in fear when they see all these great sorrows and mournings and famine and great death happening. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? You should repent and come back to serving the Lord. Yeah, how about show me how a shot? We're gonna get that right now. Acts 319. Let's get that. The question is asked, what shall you do? What shall I do? Let's lock it. Acts 3, 19. 3 and 19. Come on. The Lord says, Repent ye therefore and be converted. That's what you should do when you see the great famine, the great death. As it says uh, in 2 Nehemiah 16, 18. You should repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Yeah. So that's the answer to that question. What should I do? Start come back to come back to serving the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Matthew 22 and 6. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. All of these. Matthew 22 and 6. It was a lie. I'm sorry. It's a lock, yeah. Twenty-four and eight. 
Matthew 24, chapter 8, verse, red letter, Yahweh shot speaking. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Now we're going to precept that back to second edges. Second edges of. Uh, One hand shit, I'm getting tired of this one hand shit. Sixteen. Eighteen. Second Ages, sixteen, chapter eighteen, verse. The beginning of sorrow and great mourners, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Well, like I said, you, you gotta repent and come back to, and be converted and come back to serving the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. That, that's, what you, that's what you should do. Let's get some more scripture. What's going to happen is a lot of people are going to call on the Lord and the Lord's not going to hear them. Proverbs 128. It's a lot of people out there that believe in the false, the, the, the lies. Proverbs 128. Then shall they call upon me. But I will not answer. The Lord is not going to answer those that call upon him with, with a false name and a lie name. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. A lot of people know in those days where the famine hit and the great evils, they're going to be calling on they on they false god. But the Lord is not going to hear them. The Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, is the proper names of the Lord, Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son. Yep. It's going on my notes. First John two fifteen. So you should, 1 John 2.15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So, so it's best not to love, it's best not to love the world. Love Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. When we in a time where we got to love the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and come back to serving him and be converted. That simple. Luke 13 and 5. Because if you don't do it, if you don't repent, you will be perished. You will perish. Red letter, Yahweh shall speak. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Yes, you will perish. You don't serve. The, you don't come back to serving the Lord. You how about Shem? You how Shah?
you got to follow the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. John 21, 19. This spake he, signifying by what death he should glorify the Most High. And when he had spoken this, he said unto him, Red letter Yahweh shall speaking, follow me. That's cut and dry. Follow, you got to follow the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And that goes into Matthew 19, 27. You got to give up everything to follow the Lord. Matthew 19, 27. Did I say it wrong? 19, 27. <clears throat> Is that right? Yeah. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Verse 28. And Yahawashah said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve throne, thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So if you follow the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, he'll, he'll give you um, rulership and he'll give you, make you a judge over the twelve tribes of Israel, Yahshuala. It's that something. Giving all praise to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. On to the next one, Shalom. Repent.